We got an email for a second date from a guy named Dan. And Dan only waited four days after his date to get in touch with us. Okay. That's normally, quick. Yeah. Well, yeah, normally people wait like a week, yeah. two weeks, several years before they'll enlist our help. <laughs> it's actually, happened. yeah, it's happened multiple times. <laughs> but Dan needs instant gratification. Okay. And I'm just going to say, Dan, you're coming across a little bit needy. <laughs> Uh-oh. And it's turning me on. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, not, it's not instant gratification. I, I just want to figure it out before the line goes cold. Yeah, Jeff, that's what I thought. I'm just saying it's working. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she doesn't feel the same way that I do. We like clingy. But <laughs> who do you need to get a hold of? Tell us her name. Because if you're checking in with us after four days, it probably means you've called her upwards of like 40 times. <laughs> no, like three times. Yeah, anybody oh. in the room believe Dan. Yeah. We'll do the radio know. math uh, yeah, on that uh-huh. one. And, three times in a minute. You mm-hmm. multiply by 56, yeah. I think. <laughs> so what's her name? Her name is Jody. All right. Okay. Jody, okay. And how'd you meet Jody? Uh, we met on a dating app. Okay. What'd you like about her? So I just like how she was like put together because, you know, a lot of people are just in their yoga pants on the app, but she was actually like well-dressed, put together. Mm. And then like when we met up in person, she didn't wear any makeup and still look good, you know, which I like and appreciate that it's not. Wow. She like tries, but isn't like too obsessed about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, most girls would That's never nice. go on a date without makeup. Well, the girls I'm into. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What'd you guys end up doing for your date? Well, we decided to just hang out and grab a drink because, you know, you never know what people are like in person and all that. Sure. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? You don't know what people are going to be like in person, so you grab the drink? You know, maybe their photos are like three years and 45 pounds ago. Maybe the guy's a crazy <laughs> person, so you meet in public. That's what everyone does. Have you had yeah, those experiences? Sense. Hasn't everyone on a dating app had those experiences? Yeah, you're making me sound weird. I'm not the weird one here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think that that's safe. One drink isn't a huge commitment. It's half an hour tops if yeah. things aren't going well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But things are going well. You know, we're drinking at the bar. I'm, like, really into skimboarding. What's and that? And she didn't know what that was. It, it, it's like surfing, but instead of being in the water, you, you're on the sand and run towards the water and then, like, drop the board and hop on. Right, the... right. It's like, I always thought that was boogie boarding or whatever, but it's different. No, it's that's different when you're on your that. belly. This, you start running and throw the board on the sand, okay. on the wet sand and go into the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's more painful when you fall. It's definitely not fun when you fall, but yeah. <laughs> I would agree with that. Okay. That's cool. Was she impressed? Cool. Well, she never heard of it, so, you know, I showed her a couple of videos, then I started, I actually asked the bartender for, like, an old cardboard box and started demonstrating it in the bar. There's a little room. What? You demonstrated <laughs> skimboarding in the bar? Like, slow motion. I didn't actually go anywhere, you know, but just the mechanics of it. Like, you run, drop, and slide. <laughs> what was her response to that? She was into it, and then after a couple of times I did it, she decided to do it. But then, like, she started falling over, but I caught her. Yeah, like, it was kind of... Oh. Yeah, so that, that worked out. Did you kiss her or when you caught her, or what did you do? We had a nice eye contact moment, you know, kind of yeah. huggy, grippy, but didn't... Grippy. <laughs> Sounds like things were going well. Yeah. Yeah, and then a little while later, I was like, hey, what about coming over to my place to watch a movie? And she was totally down with it. Okay. You know, Good. I'm thinking maybe a movie, maybe something else. Right. Oh, okay. Because nobody ever just means movie. Yeah. How'd things go back at your place? It started out good. We started watching a movie, but like my place was a little dirty. I, maybe I didn't believe in myself that night before I left. I didn't like clean up right. <laughs> I know this is going to happen anyway. I'll oh, I see. I feel like they, it always works that way, though, right? Like yeah. it's like when you go out and you're a woman and you don't shave your legs, you're like, ah, well, it's not going to lead to anything. And then you're like, Dang it! So hairy. I mean, it sounds like a match made in heaven. Like, you didn't clean your apartment. She didn't put on makeup or try at all. Like, it didn't seem like either of you were very into this. <laughs> but, like, I, like, I hadn't done the dishes and the trash. And, like, I don't know, like, 15, 20 minutes in, I felt her notice it, really. Yeah. And, like, the vibe definitely changed. Did you say anything about it? No. Before I even could, she just started going, like, I'm getting tired. I got to go. But I, I definitely want to come back and we'll finish the movie another time. Well, that seems legit, though. But but she never called back, and, like, I feel she's totally blowing me off. Mm. Okay. Weird. So what do you think it is? I think it's a messy apartment, but I, I usually I'm not messy at all. But that, that's the crazy thing is just that was the one time that I didn't clean that day, you know, and or that week. It, it, I, <laughs> I, I did not work a lot and didn't get a chance to clean up, and, yeah. and it... I guess I should always believe in myself. <laughs> I mean, that's a good place to start. Yeah. 
I know, but there's nothing more depressing than when you clean up right before a date and then you come home alone to a spotless apartment. And you're like, well, that was a double waste of time. <laughs> Rubs it in your face. Yeah. That's why I never clean yeah. too, bro. I feel you, man. You, you and Jose are kindred spirits. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to play a song. We'll come back and we'll call Jody for you and try and get you your second date, okay? All right. Maybe you can convince her I'm not a slob. I mean, you're asking a lot from me. You're still really playing that needy role here. But we'll try our best, all right? We're going to do that next. <laughs> you're just tuning in for the second date. We're on the phone with one of our listeners named Dan. And Dan, most people would probably look at your date and point out all the red flags. Oh, okay. You know, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. All right, I'm not going to call attention to the fact that you're anti-women wearing yoga pants or that you set a one drink limit for yourself at the bar for mm. some reason or your unusually dirty apartment and i'm especially not going to harp on the fact that it's only been four days since you met this woman Dang. and now you're asking a radio station to contact her for you i'm not going to point those things out Dude, kick him while he's down. but what i will point out is that you sir have one of the best and i really mean this one of the best phone connections that we've ever heard <laughs> You called do have into a good, this show. It is a good line. And that's something no amount of red flags Gosh. can ever take away from you. You're going to jinx it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's really it is nice. clear. It's very clear. Oh, yeah. I, I know. That's like five bars right yeah, there. Yeah, I think. So, Dan, just checking. I mean, is there anything else that we need to know that you're leaving out? Because sometimes people do that with us. Look, I, I understand how you could twist this, but, like, here's the deal, right? Like, I like her. Like, who's skimboards in a bar? You know? Like, she's cool. Plus, honestly, like, I, I only watched a little bit of the movie with her before she left, and I want to see the end of the movie. I will you say, know? I think that's a good sign. It's a good sign of a devoted person. If you yeah. are actually willing to not finish yeah. a movie without someone else. Yes. Dan, you're definitely one of our most devoted callers that we've ever had call in for a second date. I think that's a compliment. It, it's it's the biggest compliment I can give. Or it's just there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to call Jody for you and get your second date, okay? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Jody, please? Who's calling? Is this Jody? Um, who's calling? <laughs> I asked you first, is no, this Jody? That's her. fair. It's her phone. Okay. Dude. This is Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Now you go. Is this Jody? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, Jody. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's so confused. <laughs> we're calling you today because we're doing something called a second date. Have you ever heard of that before? Maybe. I don't know. Like a long time ago. I. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, just to refresh your memory, it's if someone goes out on a date and afterwards they're not getting a call back, they can reach out to us and we'll call that person for you to figure out the reason why. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> well, we're calling you because you recently went out with a guy. His name's Dan. Oh. Yeah, very recently. Yeah. Like four days ago, yeah. he said. Yeah, I just went out with him. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's eager, Jody. He had a really okay. good time with you, and he's wondering how you felt about it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I... Because um... he did tell us about what happened on the date. He said he, you guys went to a bar, and he showed you how to, what was it, skin surfing? Skimboard. Skimboard. Skim, skimboarding. Skimboarding. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, we did that. <laughs> yeah, okay, it sounds like you enjoyed that. Well, you had to have enjoyed it, because he said that, he, I mean, you guys went back to his apartment, so if you weren't having a good yeah. time, you would have left already. Yeah, we did go back to his place to watch a movie, and, I mean, it was fine at first, but I guess I started feeling a little uncomfortable. When did those uncomfortable feelings begin? I feel like we're in a sixth grade sex ed class yeah, all yeah. of a Adult. sudden. <laughs> yeah. No, he was like a gentleman, right? Like, it wasn't like that. But I don't know. I wasn't there that long. And his his apartment is, is just a little weird. I He did mention that it was kind of dirty. Yeah, he told us. Was that a turn off? I mean, a little of that maybe. But, like, then I went and I used the restroom. And I noticed that there was, like, this 
snowman soap dish, huh. which I just like thought was weird. And yeah. then when I came out, I noticed that there were like these Santa figurine things on like his coffee table and there was like Christmas stuff on his mantle and oh. as I was coming out of the bathroom I could see like the back corner of the room where we were sitting like and there's a big Christmas tree in the corner. <laughs> okay. Well you must have been like more than one drink in if you missed a Christmas tree when you walked in. <laughs> well it wasn't on when we got home obviously like the lights were all off but when I came out of the bathroom he had turned the lights on on the Christmas tree. It was like okay. mood lighting in his apartment? <laughs> yeah but it's like not Christmas time I so I, yeah. I didn't know what was going on. I I don't know it was like a lot of stuff like I kind of felt like he's like a Christmas freak or something like I don't know maybe it's like laziness maybe he just doesn't want to pack the stuff up so he's okay. like yeah. either really lazy what? or he's obsessed Wait, with Christmas but why would that make you stop seeing somebody that you're having a good time with I mean honestly like I haven't said no yet to like going out again like I'm just trying to think about how to like bring up that I think it's like a little weird. I, I feel okay. bad that I just like left. Maybe in a Christmas card it would get across to him how you really felt. <laughs> I wonder if there was another way we could bring it up. That's an interesting point, Jose. Thank you, Jeffrey. Because maybe it's the right time to let you know, Jody, yeah. that Dan has been on the other line listening this entire time and wants to talk to you. What? No. Yeah, he sees you when he's sleeping. <laughs> And he knows that you're awake. Don't do that. No. No. Shut up. He's not on the phone. He yeah. is. Dan, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey! Hi, Jody. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my gosh. Can I ask you a question? Um, are, are you, like, Jewish or something? Is that why the whole thing's offending you? <laughs> what? That's the question? Ask her what she That's a Christmas. fair point. <laughs> No, I, I'm not actually, but I I wouldn't say I'm offended by it. I just thought it was weird. Um, Can I ask a question? You had a radio station call me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might have been an over uh, overreaction. <laughs> might? I mean, it's it's only been like four days since I saw you, like... <laughs> I don't Yeah, I don't my understand. experience, once it's like five, six days, a second date isn't going to happen, so I just wanted to figure it out either way. I will say I'll back Dan on that, because honestly, Jody, be honest, were you actually going to call him back? I honestly was still thinking about it. That's yeah. honestly. Okay. The more days okay. you think, the less the chances are of you calling him. It goes six, seven, eight days. Next thing you know, never it's mind. It's exponential growth. Yeah, I know all about that. <laughs> okay, but the problem obviously comes from the Christmas decorations inside Dan's apartment. So, Dan, can you explain why do you have Christmas decorations up right now? I just, I like the holiday vibe, you know, like it, it improves my spirit and attitude. You know, if I'm having a bad day, I turn on the lights. It feels a little happier. Dude, totally, man. But all year long? Yeah. I mean, I well, isn't that the thing about the holidays? It's like a special time of year. If you make it 12 months <laughs> the, out of the year, then it's not special anymore. I can understand that viewpoint. I, it's been working for me. I mean, this is the first year I've gotten year-round, but I've definitely gotten six months before, okay. you know? And oh. if, if we're putting cards on the table, like, I didn't even show you my reindeer. <laughs> What reindeer? I have a whole collection of different stuffed reindeer, you know, like 50 different ones, and they, they just make me feel better about things. Oh, okay. Just 50 stuffed yeah, reindeer. That's okay. not weird. Right, Jody? Oh, my God. I mean, it's the whole thing is weird. I just, to have Christmas stuff up right now, I mean, I just, to me, it's a little weird. I mean, I guess, like, maybe wanting to cheer yourself up is, it like, a nice idea to just have, like, I don't know about these reindeer, though, but the yeah. light maybe. <laughs> I don't understand why you're hating on Christmas like this. I don't I don't no, think she's wait hating a Christmas. I'm not hating on it. I just like I was surprised more than anything. Okay, well Dan, now you know what made her feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And Jody, you know now that he's a little bit of a Christmas freak. So with now that all the feelings <laughs> are out there, what do you say, Jody, to going out with Dan one more time? Mm. We'll pay for it. I mean, and on top of this, we'll also throw in a free helping of Christmas cheer <laughs> on the house. I love it. 
Dan, can I ask you, like, one more question? Okay. Like, would you be open to maybe just, like, toning it down a little bit? Like, the tree, definitely. It's But maybe, like, the stocking? Oh, like, okay. well, now you have you're, stockings, Jody, too? Jody, you're getting a little controlling. You're trying to redecorate his entire apartment now. Oh, my now. God. Take away the tree. Take away I, Christmas. No, I'm with you, Jody. Take it down, Dan. Oh. Look, I, I guess it's been far enough away from Christmas. I, I, I could get rid of some stuff, put it in the closet, the tree and stocking. But can I keep the snowman soap dish, though? I, I really like that oh. when I wash my hands. What do you think, Jody? Don't be a Scrooge. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm okay with the soap dish. <laughs> yeah. All right. So is that a yes, you guys are going to go out on another date? Yeah, that's a yes. yes. All right. All right. Hey. Look at the magic of the season does exist. Yeah. It's the holidays. Now sing us out with a Christmas tune. <laughs> Here comes Dana Claus. Here comes Dana Claus. Here. Dana yeah. Claus. You guys I... like it? I changed Santa to Dan. Yeah, yeah. we caught that. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good, Dan.